uh, welcome so I'm going to tackle a simplified kind of uh, question so here we have a question uh, that we are supposed to work uh, this is the random question so asked by some fellows there so uh, let's go so we start uh, this is a lecture from a daily technical so remember to subscribe to the channel and then everything will be way more simplified so two streets uh, a b and b c are to be connected uh, by the right hand circular curve so the bearings of a b and b c are 70 and 140 respectively so the curve is to pass through a point p uh, at a distance of 120 meters from b angle a bp is 40 degrees so determine the radius so i'm going only to do this so this question had other simpler things but first of all we needed to calculate the radius in order for us to even have the tangent length uh curve length uh the code of curvature and the rest uh, of the existing so th th that is what i will be doing simplified so we'll go back to the solution uh, so let's go directly to this solution where we solve so remember this simple aspect so i've illustrated that here in the diagram so here we have a b c so the bearings are uh, it starts from zero so the bearing of a b is 70 degrees and that of b to c is one uh, 140 uh, degrees so that value is here so this angle there so that's the bearing of b to c and then we have uh, others so here's the deflection angle that i'm going to calculate and then the angle of intersection is found here then we are told uh, above here so let me move so we are told here we have a b p so a b to p a point that is found on a distance of 120 from b here the point of intersection so that smaller angle there is uh, 40 degrees so we are going to use that angle uh, to calculate the others so by using back bearing or back bearing you know so the difference between the back bearing and the four bearing of a line is 180 degrees so the back bearing of line a a b so this line so the back bearing of this line will be uh, 70 degrees plus 180 getting a total of 250 so the distance uh, the bearing covered that is the back bearing all the way to the same line so this will be 150 uh, by having that 150 there I will need to calculate the angle of intersection and my angle of intersection uh, is from here to here so this is the angle of intersection so the back bearing provided there and the four bearing of b uh, c the difference between those two will give me the angle of intersection so i'll subtract uh, 150 minus 140 so 140 is the distance covered from here to here 150 is the distance covered from here to here so the remaining part the difference there will be our angle of intersection having this at the angle of intersection so the deflection angle la angles on a straight line add up to 180 so it subtract the angle of intersection and we get our deflection angle as 70 degrees there uh, having completed that we move on down there so from what we have been provided so a b to p is 40 degrees and half of that angle there 
the one provided the intersection angle so half of the angle of intersection so our angle of intersection was 110 so half of that angle becomes 55 so 55 this is where my 55 comes in so this angle half of it so i've formed here right angle triangle i need to use that right angle triangle in order for me to calculate all uh, the other values that i'm missing and then i will finally do the radius so by having that so this is 55 degrees i subtract 40 so 40 is the angle from uh, let me rub here a little bit so it can be visible so from here to here that is 40 degrees then from here to here is 55 degrees by subtracting that i'll have my smaller angle here the angle found between p b uh, to p1 here so that is the formation so here is a straight line forming 90 degrees to where my triangle is i will go down here for easy illustration so here is it then the distance covered from b uh, to p uh, we had that on the question is 120 meters uh, by the use of uh, Sokator by the use of Sokator I'll find cos which is adjacent of a hypotenuse so here I have my adjacent here is the opposite and here is the hypotenuse so by having those uh, values there I'll be using uh, what is seen there uh, so so cut off. so of course 15 degrees the 15 degrees we had calculated it earlier uh, is equal to adjacent over 120 so cross multiplication the distance from here b to p that is the adjacent is equals to external distance so this is my external distance calculated or the uh, apex distance so my external distance calculated from this simple calculation here will be 115.91 meters so this is the external distance and the formula of finding the external distance is so the distance is equals to r sec theta over 2 minus 1 sec uh, that is uh, 1 over cos or the reciprocal of the cos so the distance which i had calculated here so that distance represents the external distance is equals to r into brackets 1 over cos 70 over 2 minus 1 so you remember here uh, cos 70 over 2 uh, you use the calculator first there so it will be cos 35 then your answer you find the reciprocal there then minus 1 uh, multiplied by r so you will divide your answer here. here and r will be 525 meters so this is my uh, radius 525 meters that is how we calculate the r there the radius of our curve so that is just how simple the calculation was uh, for more information you can email me at gathegira steven at gmail.com so i found the year uh, just go to my email so that is the simplest way you can access me ask any question or you can just drop down there on the section the column section i'll be checking so in case of anything i'll be getting back to you personally uh, thank you that will be all